Okay, so today we're gonna make our butternut squash falafel and our zesty lemony whipped feta. We'll go in with our chickpeas, coriander, parsley, lots of it, some fresh white onion, crushed garlic as well, a nice bit of salt and some pepper. My blender, go straight in with that. Some fresh lemon juice, some olive oil. I'm just gonna get a few more so you get that nice mixture of blended herbs. So next, butternut squash. We're gonna roast it because it's gonna add flavor and then it's also going to add moisture to the chickpeas, which is really good for the baked falafel because it can dry out in the oven. Some olive oil, a bit of salt, garlic, some oregano as well. Roasted caramelized butternut squash. That's gonna elevate this chickpea falafel mix. I'm going to blitz this off. We've just broken the nutri <laughs> uh, so mash it up. Of course, we're just gonna fill it through the chickpea mix. That could be fried, but today we're gonna bake it. This way, it's something that you feel comfortable eating every day. So, boiling falafels. You just do it like that. That is so bad. One of Dublin's biggest boilers. Some sesames. We can pop them into the oven. Hey, dude. Okay, just, what are you doing? Feta. We're gonna whip it up with all this good stuff. We use a kind of mild feta, it's quite creamy, so it works really well for this. Zested one lemon. Some lemon juice, extra virgin, olive oil. Once again, just to kind of loosen it all up. Do not add salt to this for obvious reasons. See that? It's already breaking down really quickly. Uh, it's really loosened up. It's dippable. Some oregano, I'm just gonna chop it up. Not too finely, straight in. Zesty, salty feta, you know, tiny bursts of oregano too. It's that easy, but it literally elevates your feta. So there you go. Two things that go great together, falafel and dip. 